Well, hello there. It's that time again. You know what time. My favorite time of the week. Time for the blog that truly blazes here on this rainy but beautiful Friday afternoon at my home away from home, Modern Zen. Today's date, the 12th of September of 2014. And as usual, I'm going to go over the energies of the end of last week's reading, what we're coming into now, and most importantly, as always, what lies ahead of us towards the end of this week. So do stay tuned, as always, an interesting show to follow. Okay, the first card is the last card of the previous week's reading. And this card was The Hanged Man. Well, not exactly the happiest card in the deck. Not a disaster, not a tragedy, but generally a sense of feeling persecuted, of feeling like things are working against you, or perhaps just simply having upset emotions. It's attributed to water, and water upside down, okay, is kind of like going against our sense of life's course. Now, of course, too, it could also be acting as a martyr in a sense, sacrificing for a more noble cause. But I think for a lot of us it just may have manifested as a depressed state or it's just the feeling of things working against us. I know I had some mundane business that was rather rough throughout this week and no big deal, got it taken care of, but still some things that just were not pleasant that had to be dealt with. But fortunately, we have a much better picture coming up for us this week. That's right, the card of the present, where we're coming into now, is one of the better cards in the deck, the Ten of Discs, or Pentacles, if you're used to that Rider Waite terminology. This used to be called the Wall Street card in the old tarot books. Nowadays, that's not such a great appellation. Wall Street's not considered necessarily to be the most profitable enterprise, but the idea of it is, is amassing wealth, making money, manifesting goals, tens are a number of manifesting. It's come full cycle. It's come fully into the realm of Malkuth, the realm of Earth, so to speak. So you're going to find yourself manifesting stuff. You're going to find things happening, things coming to a head, energies that you've been putting out there, they're going to come back to you in a positive way. It is attributed to Mercury in Virgo. Now, Mercury, I don't think is in Virgo right now, if I remember correctly. It was. Uh, I think it's come out of that sign and going into Sagittarius. But either way, it's that whole idea of fruitful business, of applying ourselves assiduously to what we want, and getting results from exactly that. And this continues to help us, flow for us, and bless us as the week continues. That's right. The third and final card... The card for the end of the week is a Six of Cups, Sun in Scorpio. Now this is very nice. The Sun is illumination. The Sun is enlightenment. Scorpio is deep, dark, mysterious. Those deep feelings within us, that hidden anger. And it's like the light of the Sun illumines all that. It cleanses it. It balances it. It's emotional balance. It's entitled pleasure. So yes, it is a sense of well-being. But it's a sense of well-being because we are balanced. We are balanced in our heart. We are balanced in our mind. We have illuminated the deeper parts of our being. And we are absorbing them and bringing them into alignment with our higher way of being. With our greater spiritual understanding. And of course that's always a very, very positive energy. So in other words, throughout the week, you may have felt a little rough this week. You're going to feel better and more fulfilled as the week continues. Find yourself manifesting things especially perhaps in the realm of finances, and having a strong sense of life's course and emotional balance by the end of the week. I'll take it any time. Well, there you go. The blog blazed. You blazed with it. I love you. I appreciate you. And until I see you next week, many, many blessings. <laughs>